Hey you guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to Decorate with Dana. Welcome to my entryway makeover for spring 2024. I love just refreshing spaces when the new um, year changes and that does not always have to be a massive um, undertaking. I didn't do like walls or I didn't do add board and batten or anything. I am just adding, I'm switching things around that I already owned in my house. So I'm like adding an area rug that I had somewhere else, adding it down here. I did pick up a new console table. I picked up a couple pieces here and there, but it doesn't have to, you can refresh a space and it doesn't have to be a huge amount of money. It doesn't really have to be any amount of money. You can move things from different areas of your home. It can give it a totally different look and you did it for zero dollars. So making over a room does not mean you have to totally renovate the space. We, Like I said, I am not doing anything major here. I'm just moving things around to give this whole area a little makeover and a little refresh. So that is what we are doing today in today's video. And then I'm also going to go ahead and just decorate that for early spring and get that all feeling light and airy for the next season ahead. So I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. Without further ado, let's get started with this entryway makeover. With the decorating, I did want to share with you the sponsor of today's video, and that is AG1. So I have been drinking AG1 for over a month now, and the benefits I have seen are amazing. AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports the whole body's health. Some of the benefits of AG1 are improved focus and energy, and that is a huge one for me. That is probably the biggest one that I have noticed. Adaptogens and B vitamins support sustained energy, concentration, and mental performance, but you don't get that crash that you get from caffeine. It's just a sustained energy all day long. So when I received AG1, I also received, so it came in like a packet. Obviously I can't show you that because I have been using this for over a month, but it comes with a like a packet that you would open and then you also get the AG1 canister. This needs to be stored in the refrigerator. So I just, you know, opened it up, store uh, dumped it all in here. As you can see, there's a powder in here. It came with the scoop, put it all in here and then I just pull it out every day, use what I need and then store it back in the refrigerator. So it did come with this shaker. So it says to use like eight to 10 ounces of water. You can use water, you can use coconut water, you can use any kind of nut milk or juice, whatever you want to mix it in. I am totally fine with water. I actually look forward to drinking this every day and I don't mind the taste at all. I just mix it with, I'd say about 10 ounces of really cold water and I just shake it up and I drink that first thing in the morning. For optimal absorption, it recommends that you drink it first thing in the morning. So I literally get up, I do take Kova for a walk first because she's not patient enough to wait for me to drink this. But before I have any kind of water, coffee, anything, I drink this first so that I can get the optimal absorption and benefits from drinking AG1. But another really huge benefit for me is the gut health. I don't have the best gut health. I have seen a drastic difference from the pre and probiotics that are in AG1 that has helped me so much. So you can scan the QR code on the screen or you can head to the link in my description box to get one year free of the vitamin D3 plus K2 plus five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. So again, I wanna thank AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Now we are going to get on with decorating the entryway for spring and continue on with this spring entryway makeover. Okay, you guys, here is the current state of the 
um, entryway. There is nothing in here. I mean, obviously you can see a rug over there because that's going to be going in here. I've got stuff stored in my office, kind of pushed out of the way that I'm going to be adding in here. But here it is, all empty. So I love the wall color in here. I get a ton of questions of what the wall color is. It's kind of hard to tell right now because the light is coming through. But it is Mesa Verde Tan by Benjamin Moore. Love, love this color. So it is a tad bit of a darker color. I hate the color of these floors, but right now I'm, we're not going to, it's just so much work to refinish them. Not that we would do it, but it's just such a mess. But eventually we will have these refinished hopefully, but that is not anytime too soon. But I want to, um, brighten up the floor area with an area rug. And this was an area rug that I had in my bedroom that um, the floors are a little wet by the way i did just wash these but anyways the area rug was one in my bedroom that i love it is from walmart of all places and it is one of the best rugs i have ever owned so i will make sure i link that down below but i want to add that in it is a beautiful eight by ten this is a huge entryway so i think an eight by ten will be fine in here i did have a five by seven you can tell the discoloration of course the cat walks across because the floors are wet but anyways you can kind of tell the discoloration in the floor from the five by seven rugs but i want to add in this this eight by 10 rug. And then I want to bring in some more richer tones of wood. So I got a new console table for this wall. So I'm going to add that in and I got a new little bench area, but I just want to richen this up in here and just darken it a little bit and just give that really rich feeling, but the floors will have a lighter toned rug. So in my mind, it looks beautiful. Let's see how we can get it to go come together. So I don't know if you can tell, I mean, it pulls the beautiful browns, tans, grays, a really light kind of creamy yellow, like it is gorgeous and it pulls in every neutral color. And because it is so neutral, you can just use this season after season and it will just go with everything. So I just highly recommend this rug. I wish you could feel how soft this thing is. So this area is right to the right of the front door when you come in. I have that beautiful artwork that I downloaded from Etsy and had it printed out. I think it's a 24 by 36. So I want to hang it on this wall and then I want to just make a cute little bench area for right here. So if you're putting on your shoes or something, you have a place to sit down and do that. Love this picture. This was again an Etsy download. It can go up and down. You can do anything. It's just really like, it's not, it doesn't have to go one way or the other. So it could have gone this way or this way. I'm going to put a little bench under here that I did recently pick up from Wayfair and just kind of make this a nice little seating corner. If you'd, like I said, if you need to put on your shoes or something. I'm not going to decorate everything yet. I want to get all the furniture and everything in place and then we'll go through and add the decor after. On this wall, I had like a hook um, 
like bar and I loved it. It's just, it was not, it really wasn't that practical actually. It was more like I decorated it, but it really wasn't practical for hanging clothes, uh, like coats and stuff on. And we do have like big Christmas parties and things that go on where we need space to like hang coats and stuff. So I decided I'm not gonna fill these holes in right now because I am gonna hang a picture here. I will fill those in another time. I have a picture I'm gonna hang here and then I wanna put like an actual traditional coat tree right here that just makes it functional and yet still will look really nice. Okay, this was a picture that I got from Hobby Lobby. This may or may not be in the fall line, but I think it's gorgeous. And yes, it'll be perfect in the fall, but I think it looks really pretty right now. And it ties in every color that this gorgeous rug ties in. So this was the one I ended up getting for $5 on clearance. I think it's normally, it says on the back, $69.99. And then of course you get them like 50% off. But I think I got it for $5. I did get it for $4.99 because it had a little crack right here. Well, I just used some wood glue and um, you know, put that together to hold the little crack. And then I just used like some dark Sharpie to kind of fill it in. And unless you're right here looking at it or looking for it, you don't see it at all. And I just think that this looks perfect right here. Tying in that really dark wood goes beautifully with that new that picture that we just hung on the other side. So now I just want to put a traditional little like coat tree right here in the corner. And that will probably be, I mean, we might decorate it a little bit in this area, but that'll probably be the bulk of what is going to go right here. Okay, so this little corner area by the stairs, I think is a perfect place to add my full length mirror. I've actually tried it here for the past couple weeks just to see if I liked it and I love it because it's just, on the other side is the console table. So like you have a pretty backdrop if you're looking in the full length mirror. So I'm gonna put a full length mirror here, probably going to put a plant or something by it. But again, that'll be in like once we start decorating, but I'm at least going to put the full length mirror here. So now for the new console table, and then I have that really pretty piece of artwork that I showed in my um, home goods haul that if you didn't see that, I will link it up or in the cards or down in the description box, I'll link it somewhere. But um, it is one of my favorite pieces of art that I think I've ever found at home goods. So I'm gonna put the table here so I can measure exactly how far up I want the artwork to go. Okay, this is the new console table I got on Wayfair. It is beautiful, heavy, solid wood, um, absolutely stunning. So it does come in other finishes. I went for the like the deep walnut finish. Uh, I'll give you a little bit closer look of this. It is absolutely stunning. I love the simplistic design of it. These are just solid wood side panels. I just think that this is absolutely gorgeous. So I got it when it was on sale. I will have it linked down below. Always keep watching Wayfair because they run a lot of sales. So if you are interested in this, even in a different finish or something, I highly recommend it, but just keep watching because hopefully you could find it on sale. Here's just a look at the finish of it. It is so simply gorgeous and it um, just really has like a nice, beautiful wood texture, but yet it's not like it snags or anything or catches on anything, but yet you can feel the kind of roughness of the wood. I just think that this, this is, is what the side panels look like. There's the vacuum. <laughs> Um, but I just think that this is stunning piece of furniture, excellent quality, 
and it came where you had to put it together, but it was so easy because it's only the three parts. So on this side, up underneath, there's three bolts, and on this side, there's three bolts, and that's it. So it was so easy to put together. So this is that gorgeous piece of art from Home Goods. Absolutely one of my favorite things I've ever gotten from there. The dark finish matches the table. It's like a beveled frame. There's so much texture that goes on in this picture. It's absolutely stunning. So this, I have it leaning right now. I do want to hang it. I'm not a huge fan of pictures leaning. So I'm going to go ahead and hang it. I just wanted to get the table in place so I knew exactly how far I wanted to hang this so that it sits about six or so inches off the uh, table. So when you're here by yourself doing it, um, I just have this stack of three books that is six inches high. So I can like set this on there and know how far I wanna hang the artwork up. And it's just an easy way to be able to uh, do it myself. <laughs> Okay, that fits perfectly above here. It's six inches off the table. Um, yeah, I just love it. I need to add a rug to the bottom of these stairs. If you are new here, my dog is petrified of hardwood floors. So, for as much as I don't necessarily want to cover the floors with a million rugs to protect the floors, I need to cover them with a million rugs. So I wanted, I couldn't find the smaller size at my store of the big rug that I put here. I may see if I can find that online and order it. But for now, I found this Ellis washable accent mat. It is just white, which could be stupid, but we don't wear shoes or anything in here. So for now, it'll work here and it blends nicely with that rug, but I will probably see if I can find like the three and a half, three by five, or I think it's two by three, something like that size rug to put here. But for now, at least this is washable. I got it at home. It was $29.99. So I'm gonna add that here now. So this is the cat's new bed. This is, if you follow me on Instagram, this is the bed that Kova keeps laying in because either it's to be spiteful because the cats like to lay in her bed or she thinks this bed is for her, but she hardly fits. She's curled up in the tightest little ball. But anyways, of course I move it over here and everybody has to come check it out. But you know, the reality is not only we live here, but our fur babies live here too. They love to sleep here in the entryway. So why not get an aesthetic pretty bed and keep it right here in the entryway so that they can sleep and it still looks nice also. So that's why the bed is in here.
Now we're gonna start styling this. That is always my favorite thing to do, so that we're saving the best for last. I found this lamp on Amazon. I think it is a creative co-op. It is absolutely beautiful. It is a cement base, so it is extremely heavy. But if you could see the texture in there, I did order a different lampshade. I just wanna try a different one, but I don't have that in yet. So this lampshade works fine. It is a linen lampshade. It's very pretty. It's just, I wanted to try something different. But anyways, I absolutely love this lamp. So I absolutely love the way that this entryway turned out. This is exactly how I envisioned in my head. I think that this rug just anchors everything. I think it is stunningly beautiful and I'm so happy I decided to move things around. And this is just the perfect example of this was something I already had in my house. It was up in my bedroom and you really just couldn't appreciate it up there because it's so soft and so beautiful that you know, I wanna move it where everybody can see it and it's just perfect here. And then, um, you know, this was just an Etsy download that I downloaded for a very little price, printed it out at Walgreens. I found that frame at Hobby Lobby and then this bench is from Wayfair. It's plush, it's cute, it matches the ottomans underneath the console table perfectly 
and you know a little throw blanket and a pillow that I already had and this is a nice cozy little corner for putting on shoes. This area has now just become so much more functional. First of all this picture like I said five dollars it's absolutely perfect right here for this whole entryway color scheme I have going on. Love this little coat rack. Again, this was from Home Goods. Added a functional umbrella in there. And then I just added my cute little spring rain boots right here because why not? I mean, they're springy, they're cute, and it just kind of ties in that this is a whole entryway area. And so I love that. Kova thoroughly enjoys the new rug, so that's good. This little corner just turned out perfect. This mirror is from Home Goods, and I love it right there. I love that. The little backdrop is the console table. This plant is from Target, I think it was last year. And then of course the cute little kitty's bed. I'm surprised that Miss Kova is not in there right now, but this console table and the rug are what make this entryway. So again, I will have these linked down below. Check out Wayfair and just kind of keep watching. But love, love this picture. This again was from Home Goods. This whole arrangement on the console table I love, but I love just switching this out a lot. So, you know, it stays like this for a little while and then I'll switch it up a little bit. And then these two ottomans, they just really make great extra seating for like in the family room if you have people over or if we're sitting around the coffee table playing games or something. They're just like the perfect height, so they work out for in there. Okay, you guys, that is going to wrap up this entryway makeover video and spring decorate with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a little bit of decorating inspiration and just inspired you to move items around from your own home and see if you can totally transform a space for very little or no money. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in my next spring decorating video. I hope you have a great day.